Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm from the Amri People's Association of Guyana, and I speak on behalf of the APA and the COICA, which is a nine-member organization of the Amazon Basin, the Indian Law Resource Center, 136 indigenous nations, and 23 associations. My proposal is in two parts. So, paragraph 26, as it is written, is not in our opinion, action oriented. It's not even really an operative paragraph. It simply calls for maintaining the status quo within the UN system, even in the face of a global epidemic of violence against indigenous women and children. We therefore propose the following language, the, the first sentence of paragraph 26. We request the Human Rights Council to amend the mandate of the Special Rapporteur on Violence Against Women to assign responsibility to examine on an ongoing basis the causes and consequences of violence against indigenous women and children. In conjunction with the Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the Expert Mechanism on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. The second sentence calling for the Commission on the Status of Women to examine the issue can be strengthened as well by including a directive from the Economic and Social Council to the Commission and by adding, which is very important, a time frame. We therefore propose the following language to the second sentence of paragraph 26. We also request the Economic and Social Council to call on the Commission on the Status of Women to decide at its 60th session in 2016 that the empowerment of indigenous women will be its priority theme. Focusing on the epidemic of violence against indigenous women and children and recommending urgent international measures that will contribute to the eradication of such violence. We welcome discussions yesterday about the need to empower women and address the epidemic of violence against women. And we look forward to submitting our proposals in writing. Thank you.